Hi everybody, Waxfraud here, and welcome back to episode 4 of the Minecraft Let's Play series. We uh, we got a lot of stuff going on today. First things first, I, I do have a lot of dogs, I will admit that, but uh, that's just because we're on, I want to go on some journeys today, but I didn't want to go by myself. I don't have a horse yet. If I could, you know, let's take a dog, and then I figured, you know what, instead of one dog, why not take 50 dogs? It's so crazy running with these guys. They just constantly fight for the first place. <laughs> Next to our custom little mangrove forest, we do have a dog out here that is just perpetually gazing out into the ocean and uh someone in chat decided you know what we were gonna name this dog and i want to name him daniel guys you guys are pushing daniel around you need to stop it all right let's let's leave daniel alone um daniel needs some time to just keep gazing out into the ocean i did want to say thank you for joining on the live twitch streams it's twitch.tv slash wax fraud for anyone that didn't join yet feel free to come by anytime i do stream every single day this little build that we made on stream is actually something that inspired me uh, to go on my next trip. It's a little flower stand, and I realized I don't have anything. I have like a cornflower, a dandelion, I got a poppy, I got a blue orchid at least from the mangrove swamp. We got cactuses and azaleas up here and a lily of the valley, but I got nothing else. We need to go find the tulips, alliums, we need we need way more. Now realizing I didn't even finish the top, so hold on, let's get up there if I can... Dude, there's too many dogs. There we go. Okay, perfect. Whew. Dude, I, I love having the dogs with me, but damn, when you have 50 dogs, it's it, it sure is a lot. Well, pups, let's uh, let's head out on an adventure. We Oh my god, the turtles are in the fishing dock, my guy. You need to just, come on, get out of here. Let's just push you a little bit if we can. Yeah, there you go, my dude. We did make this fishing dock on a long play that was released on the channel. If you guys want to go check that out, definitely feel free. It was about a, about two and a half hours uh, video that uh, we just spent building this nice fishing dock here. And I wanted to make builds a little bit closer to the nether portal that we made in episode three. But I'm going to go ahead and take out. Let's, uh, let's, let's go to the other side over here. I know there's a jungle over here. I don't know how fast these dogs can actually catch up to me on the boat. Oh my god. Look at this guy out here. We, we are We're so far. He is so far out. What are you doing out there? Why? Why do you need to be out this far? My guy, this is just... What are you doing? Where are you trying to go? Are you trying to go to that jungle? That's not even the jungle that you're originally from. You were born over here, man. Where are you trying to go? Come over here. Get in the boat. That's what I'm talking about, my guy. Alright, let's just... You need to go home. What in the world is going on here? Okay, let's just... Let's get you out of the boat. Get away from the turtle eggs, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll, I, I can walk on them, but you cannot. Just get over here. And just chill, man. Just chill. You're all good, man. You're all good. You guys, this is... I don't know if this is gonna work. If we're gonna... If we're gonna go all the way down there, do we need to travel by land? No, the wolves are drowning. The wolves are drowning. We have to go this way. Okay, so maybe taking 50 plus dogs was not a good idea. Oh, the one of the librarians was chilling right... The mending guy has just been in the boat. What are you doing out here? And the big guys literally just pushed me off the boat. I'm wondering what happens if I just kind of go right, like ride the coast a little bit, so the puppies can just have a little bit more room. Oh God! They all, <laughs> they all, what? We got some teleporting dogs that now are in the way, so I can't. Don't get too close to the sand. But uh, yeah, we definitely have some teleporting dogs over here. Hey, we got a beehive. Nice. I'll take you. All right. Okay. So we have a Savannah village here. A, oh my God! I just realized. Imagine a guy with a purple suit running into your village with fifty dogs. Like, what would you think? What would you guys think? <laughs> hey guys, do you mind if uh, me and my me and my dogs stay the night here as a chill? It's uh, just a couple of dogs. It's not that big a deal. Uh, if you guys don't mind, we're just gonna be chilling here for just a little bit. I actually haven't found a fortress yet, and this is a brewing. Yep. There we go. We have. The brewing stand. I'll take as many of those as I can get, because without the fortresses, I uh, I don't have any blaze rods to even make those, so the more natural spawned ones that I can find, the better. I found some coal, but I'm finding that it's it's very hard to get in here and actually try to mine this. It's uh, it's pretty it's pretty hectic with these dogs. I'm, I'm, I'm debating on whether or not this was actually a good idea. Wait, I kind of want to try this. I have to. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Go. Let's go. Yes, thank you, dogs. Wait. Go. Oh, I just had to smack that chicken once. Wait, let's go. Ooh, okay. So we do have a portal here. Where's the chest? Puppies, stay away. If there's lava, you just gotta stay away from the lava, and then we'll be we'll all be good. Get off the magma blocks. Get off the magma blocks. Get off the magma blocks. I really want the crying obsidian, and I really want the gold blocks. So I'm going in for it. Puppies, get off the magma blocks as long as you can. Let's come. No, get off. I can hear you. Just gonna take out the magma blocks, dude. I can't. I don't like the puppy crying. <laughs> Yo, we found sunflowers. Let's go. Okay, so we have at least some type of new flower. Gimme, 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 gimme. Let's go, dude. Okay, so these are these are actually really nice. I like these a lot. And uh, these chickens are. You know what? These are, these are not so nice. I don't like you that much. That dude. That was an alley oop. That was sick. I see tulips. Oh, I see alliums. Okay, let's go. We have. This is a weird little island that we have. I wonder if this is bigger. 
Is there a flower forest over there? Or maybe this is one giant flower forest and it's just kind of spread out by the river. Yes, dude. All right, dude. flower forest biomes, if anyone didn't know, are my favorite. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Are my favorite. Dude, imagine if you hit one of the dogs and all the other dogs start attacking you. That'd be awful. I'm sorry, dude. Anyways, my favorite biome in the game is the flower forest biome. Oh my god, I can't even pick anything up. And uh, it's just because it just adds so much depth and color to your world. As soon as you get the, like, I, I, the first hardcore series that we had, I had so many types of flowers. Because we were in the flower forest biome, and it was just, it made everything so colorful. Oh god. Dogs, get them! Get them! Ah! Okay, we are safe and sound back home. How about I, you know what, how about I sit you guys down next to some of the pandas? You guys can learn how to be chill. Uh, with the pandas, man. These these pandas are the chillest, and... Oh, man, I can hear some of these puppies. They were just falling off of cliffs and stuff the entire way home. Why were they doing that? All of you pups deserve a break. Oh, and I must have accidentally bred some puppies. That was, uh... Well, uh, dude, the puppies in this game are so cute. Now that we're back home, there is a couple of things that I wanted to show you guys. First things first, we have a new goal board. Obviously, there's no goals on here yet. There are blank signs, but we can take these down. I don't know why I wouldn't just use my axe, but let's take them down. Let's put some goals up. This guy has not found his way back up yet. Are you are you okay, my guy? Do you need help, like, at all? Are you, do you just want to get... How about... There you go. Let's just open the gate. Open that, too. Do you... Are you good, my dude? There you go. Without a doubt, first thing we're doing is Rainbow Mountain. I mean, it might not be the first thing we're doing, but it's the first goal on here. Then, obviously, we do want some Elytra. I'm going to put that all in bold because we, we want that now. And I think in order to get the Elytra, we do need to go find a fortress. So I'm going to put that here, too. We'd I, I think that might be the first goal that we hit. Sugarcane farm is in order because uh, we just made a dope uh, sugarcane boat and on the last world and we only got to see it for a couple of days. We will be making a trading hall. I do want to make an underwater base. An XP farm is most likely what needs to happen as well as an iron farm. Last what I want to do is actually just finish the interior of my house and I don't know if I'm going to do that like just on stream or in general just as i keep playing because we have been getting the interior of the second floor and the first floor pretty much done like i like what's going on in here i haven't finished putting what's in these barrels over here but everything i mean this is all basically done a little bit more organization can be done over here but i moved all of the ocean blocks in this little area with a little bit of a bed next to the enchanting space it's all pretty much a-okay -okay, except if we go upstairs this is this is not a place to look we don't look up here yet this is not done we even have a fourth floor that we could work on this is this house is huge. Actually, we do have a lot of sea pickles in here now, and I will show you why. It's because we went back here, and uh, we do have, on stream, we built a nice little sea pickle farm that we put in the other hardcore world as well. This one's pretty easy. You just go up, bone meal all the sea pickles, and uh, yeah, there you go. You got yourself a lot more. Now, the real reason we went on that adventure was so we could come back to the flower farm, or the flower stand, and uh, let's put an allium right there. We got the tulips right here. We got the pink tulip and then the last one would be orange tulip where are you going wait where's the orange tulip gonna go wait where's it gonna go oh the propagule is not a flower forgot to mention that with our newfound sea pickle success you can uh, actually go around and start to make pumpkins look like actual pumpkins and uh, what I mean by that is right here, you put a sea pickle on top of them and they start to actually look like a pumpkin instead of just placing down a b little square block. You can walk right up to these two pumpkins and go bam, and then go bam. Look at that. I love that we can just go down here and just light up the seafloor now. It's just, uh, it's so nice. Next thing we gotta do is move this wheat. The wheat is, I don't know. It's just, I mean, obviously, I, I don't know. It's not, it's not right here. It, this is not the permanent spot, but I don't know where I want it to go. It's, it could go over here. Dude, there's, there's too many animals. That was so loud. I have the friendly animals turned down to 3% and that was still so loud. One thing I am certain of is that this wheat is getting taken out and we're, we're just going to move it. On stream, we went ahead and made it a small wheat field. It's not too big. It's not too large. Uh, it's also not too small. It's, I think it's just right. And uh, if we hop out here, there's not much to put left here. I think that was the last bit of decoration. I had a little bit of melons I wanted to place down. I tried putting some trees up, but it just didn't It didn't really look right. So probably just going to stick with the melons and the, and the haystacks for now. But yeah, put in a azalea tree. It actually put it right. It put itself right over the the wheat field, and I, I actually really like the way that looked. I put a spore blossom in here too, and it kind of made itself fit right into the town. And now the only thing to do is I feel like these animals they're just they're in their own little world. We got to get them into a barn. There's there's no way now that we have the wheat. Now that the wheat has a home, the, the animals need a home. We really did clear everything out though. Like we went all the way back here. We could go back this way, and the island itself is is not very big. I mean, if you look at this, whoa, there's a small. Oh, I thought that was a cave. The island itself is not that big we can go back here and bam we're done is this are you serious hold on a second did i look at this one already let's see okay i don't think i did what's what are you and what do you got 
That is, that is beautiful. Give me some of that. I think I decided right here is going to be the spot. I know it's a, it's a little bare right now, but it's going, I have a vision and I, I do think it's going to look okay here. Might want to take this out. I'm going to start building up with oak. I'm going to build a big square area that I'd like to work with. Probably going to start in this area here, but not sure, entirely sure how big it's going to be. I want to get the pigs in here. I want to get the sheep and the cows in here. They're, what are they? They're all the way back there. They need a home, man. They really need a home. Now realizing after trying to get the perimeter for this barn set, uh, I did not do near enough landscaping. I really thought I did, but now that I'm over here, I guess I did not. So it's time to take a little bit of this out here, just further into the jungle. I'm probably not going to take it all out because I do. I don't want the entire island to be flat. I want there to be a, like a little bit of land. Oh, actually, there's not that much cobblestone. We can probably just bridge up here a little bit easier than I thought. I thought I'd have to go through a lot more cobblestone or just regular stone, I guess, but dang. All right, so that's actually going to take a little bit less time than I thought. We must save all of the ferns. We have to save them all. They are the most glorious plant out here, so uh, we're not we're not going to get rid of them. We also have this pretty much done here. I think this is exactly where I'd want it to go. I'm definitely going to have to get some of this jungle trees out of here because now we have a giant, chonky floating tree, so that's not good. Now we can get to the real decorating, though, which is uh, what I do on almost every single build, and that is the deep slate tile to fence to gate combo here. So we go bam, 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 and bam, and then we have to get the gates in the middle and then the fence is on the side and actually the deep slate might not be looking like the best right now wait let's see if we have to strip this first obviously just want to see this this might be better i know that these deep slate tile walls are a little dark but the cobbled deep slate you know that actually looks a little bit better i might go with that it's a little bit more gray a little bit more neutral not entirely as dark um i think the deep slate tile wall definitely matches the mangrove a little bit more but with the oak i think we're not, we might have to go with the cobbled deep slate Got a lot of jungle wood to take out up here too. I, I could use the jungle wood on this build. I'm not entirely sure. I do want to use some oak, but uh, man, we got a lone pig out there. That's too bad. The jungle is like half of what it used to be because I've just kind of taken it out. It just decimated the forest, dude. I decimated it. And we made our own custom mangrove back there. That's kind of nice. That's all going to get taken down though. But I love coming up here because then you can see what the town has become so far. It's just nice. It's so nice and quaint. I think I might make a little entrance area over here, maybe three blocks tall or just three blocks wide. I'm not sure. I might make it on the other end as well. If we could get an entrance over here too, I might need to make this three blocks wider so I can just fit a small door on the side here because it would just be really convenient for me to not have to go to each side. If I can go in from all four sides, that would be that'd be pretty nice. Let's just get this all stripped. Finishing the front window up here with a couple of gates. Doesn't look too bad. We can take these out. I decided, I think over here, the trap doors do bring out a little bit more color. So I'm going to put those on each side over here. And I might continue to put them on the top and bottom as well as the jungle trap doors up here. Just to give it a little bit more color on the corners then i think you know i think it's time let's just go ahead and put like five or six rows of campfires out just to bring this outward this is going to make the build look a lot more like three-dimensional actually while i'm thinking about that we can go to the oop, we got some trapdoor stuff right here we can go bam 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 that always makes it look kind of like a little bit of a chandelier but i'm gonna go ahead and put some campfires on this side as well we might bring it out by five rows but i think this is like 20 like 19 or 20 campfire so this is going to be at least like 200 or so campfires that we have to use right now we can actually let's go back here to the front side let's take these two stairs off let's take these two campfires at the top off and then we can replace the stairs right here so it kind of looks like it's going in there from the build itself and that also gives us room to go ahead and add more deep slate and some gates over here and this actually isn't looking too bad for an entrance to the barn, except for the part where it's completely on fire on this side and this side. We also have a lot of work to do. I think the roof is going to be pretty basic. Normally I do stairs first leading into slabs, but today we went into slabs and then into stairs for more inclination on the top. Uh, I think for now, if we're going to get a second floor, we should probably get some pillars and columns going across here so that we, uh, you know, just make it look a little bit more safe and secure. I was just uh, doing a little bit of off-camera building and I accidentally smacked this golem and he hates me dude he's running right after me this is not good man I could just do the classic build four blocks up and uh be gone yeah sorry about that guy beefing up the sides here it's kind of funny all you hear is just one giant cloud of fire it just it's like never ending it's turning out to not look too bad though I like this little front area that we're making for the animals to come be able to hang out in I don't know why but Taking out campfires with a shovel is one of the most relaxing sounds. Finally making the roof, and uh, I'm going to add some slabbage in here. I'm also going to, whenever there is a, actually just a plank, I'm going to go ahead and put some trap doors down. And I believe I just put that in the wrong spot. I definitely did. 
But as soon as I get to the end over here, yeah, I mean, that should look pretty good. As soon as we get that all the way up here as well, it should look decent. And now I'm actually noticing, I haven't really been bothered by this, but there's a lot of these ghost vines right here. There's one all the way down here too. It's like, why... Why are they here? There's one. This is the second one right here. If I can just break this guy now that I'm on top. There's a third guy right here. Why? What's up with all these? Now, I know I might be the king of overusing lanterns, but I really wanted to go through and possibly place one more smaller flat block on the end here just to get some lanterns and some light on the sides here. If we're going to have some paths over on each side of the barn, it'd be nice to have it a little, little bit like naturally lit up from the top of the barn, kind of like this. And from the sides, it doesn't look too bad. I kind of like that. It brings a little bit, the, the depth just goes down just one block, like a half a block smaller, and I like that. It, it's it's kind of nice. Stairs all over the ceiling never really hurt nobody. I might as well just continue to put them on all the pillars and on all the corners. That, I always think that makes it look a little bit better. Now, I think it's time we put the big barn windows in. I think I might just do two on each side instead of doing one large one on each side. So we'll go out by three right here, and then we'll count five because we want to make it a three wide window and in order to do that we'll have to have two logs so it'll have to be five wide on each side looking at this window right now it looks a little bit too plain on the side so i, I had some spruce trap doors right here and now what i'm thinking about doing let's actually just drop that there so i can look at this i have some and of course of course i fall go back up with some scaffolding here anyways um so we have some jungle trap doors i wanted to try this out maybe this would look good if we go boom and then boom right there, boom, boom. Let's see if what that looks like on the outside over here. And honestly, that is way better. I think I'm going to use that. Also, now that I'm over here, I decided I think I'm going to take out these slabs and replace them with the much more texturized campfires on top. Like, I think this is going to make the barn look a lot better. Got some bushes in the composters. Probably going to line some bushes out on this side. Maybe in here as well. Just even though the animals are going to be in here, they could probably use a little bit more shrubbery. And line the top floor up with some grass. Time to break these pigs free. And let's go, guys. Come on now. Let's, uh, yep, let's go. All of you. you. Even you in the back. Let's go. Let's go on upstairs if we can. Come on, guys. Make it in here. We did have a handful of pigs that made it up here. These are the, the few chosen ones. Why don't you guys get back here into a small little area. Let's just go over here. I'll uh, close these gates off. Boom, boom, boom. Now we get the sheep. Let's let you guys on out of here. Come on, follow me. Let's get you. Oh, and I'm falling. Let's get you guys up to the tippy top. Just follow me up here, guys. Just need a couple of you. Oh, yep. There you go. Come on. Just need a couple of you. And uh, why don't we just fit you guys right in here? And you know what? That's I think like six or seven of you made it, but that's all we need. A lot of leftover sheep down here. You're, you know what? You're going to have to go. Sorry, guys. Be gone. And finally, let's get a pack or just a big old herd of cows in here. Come on. Oh, there's some sheep pushing me around. Come on, guys. Let's get in here. Quick, quick, quick. Let's go ahead and come on, guys. Single file now. There's just so many cows. They lose track of where I am. If you're going to come in, come on in. Otherwise, you're going to get left out right here. Right. Come on. Nope. You lost your turn, bud. Time for a little bit of interior design. I like to make it seem like I like, uh, you know, I can chill. It's just a little bit of a couch on each side. The quartz is always good for making the best looking shiny couches. Put it right here in the barn. It's always like, you know what? I like that. It's nice and cozy up here now. Now we can go around the side and start bone mealing it up. I am going to get rid of all the creeper grass though, because it does not belong. It does not belong whatsoever. Get some various planks up in the sidewalk over here. Then once we patch all this up, let's go ahead. I got some new flowers. Might as well start to show them off. We can put the alliums over all around the entrance. Man, this is going to feel good. One of the last things I wanted to do is get some natural plant light up in here. And that's just with a little bit of help from the glowberries. I actually almost forgot one last thing I wanted to do to the wheat field, which was earlier in the episode. I know in here, it's a little barren. Uh, there's no lights in here at night. And how did that iron golem get in here? He must have, he had to have spawned. How, dude? You, you have to live a life eternally in the wheat field where you would just be pretty much breaking my crops, I'm guessing. Make it a little bit more interesting. I'm just going to put you up there, put it there. We're going to get a little bit of a scarecrow going right here. We can give him a hat also. I usually don't give these guys hats, but... Today, he's going to get a hat. I am very much uh, in love with this new barn design. I, I've never really had an inclined roof at the top like that, so it's nice. it feels good to do something different, and it feels nice also to get all the trees around here, make it seem like it is built into the forest. We might build some more jungle trees in the back, or plant some, I mean, not build them. Can you build trees? Or maybe you can. You can build custom trees. I guess I've never really tried that before either, but guys, thank you so much for coming through today. This was such a fun episode to record. Thank you so much for popping in on all the live Twitch streams where we get a lot of the building done. 
Oops, accidentally opened voice chat there. That was an accident. Guys, I did want to say thank you for joining the Patreon as well. All to all my patrons, thank you so much. Thanks again for watching this episode. We do have a really fun plans for episode 5 next time, so stay tuned. And yeah, just take care of yourselves and do something nice for somebody, guys. Bye!